Greetings! This is my fifth video, uh, my fifth Heads Up match in the $500 FTOPS uh, Heads Up tournament. This is the first match uh, inside the money. So far, I've played matches against... Um, I think we had three pretty weak players who all played slightly different styles, and then I also had a match against the UV04, um, who is uh, kind of, a, to my, my understanding, uh, sort of a high-limit mixed game player, so he plays mostly fixed-limit games, um, and he had a very different playing style than any of the people I've played up until now. So one of the things that I think is useful about this series is that you can see me playing uh, heads up the same structure uh, and a heads up freeze out against a variety of different players and you can see how my play changes based on the way my opponent is changing um, or, or the way my opponent is playing and on um, how good I think I am relative to that person so some of the early matches where I felt like I really had a big edge on my opponents I was trying to avoid playing a lot of big preflop pots and then that match against UV um, where I felt like I was uh, not really a favorite and uh, uh, I, I was a little bit more willing to push preflop edges rather than um, play pots out of position against them post-flop. So today's match is against mreed05. Uh, some of you might know him. He, uh, I had played a decent amount with him at kind of mid-stakes, like 3-6, 5-10, no limit hold'em. I hadn't seen him around lately, and I think he's not playing no limit hold'em anymore. I think maybe he's switched over to PLO or something. Um, I do know that he's an instructor at uh, Card Runners, and I remembered him as being a, a pretty decent and... Um, like very fundamentally sound, tight aggressive player who's uh, definitely capable of making moves and stuff. I would I would guess actually that he's uh, pretty similar to myself, uh, both in terms of ability level and in terms of um, playing style. So I I never played heads up with him before, but that was my recollection of how he played. And uh, I was not looking forward to the match in the sense that I didn't think it was going to be as easy as some of the ones that I'd played, but I was looking forward to it in the sense that I thought it was going to be interesting. And I think it did prove to be interesting. And hopefully you will uh, find it to be thus as well. Um, if he had made a 3x raise on the button, I would have flat called with King Jack. Given that he min raised, uh, I did want to 3-bet him. I think it's a strong enough hand to 3-bet against his um, his min raising range on the button, which, uh, again, if he's playing like me, would be uh, any two cards or, or damn near it. So King Jack is going to be quite a strong hand relative to that range. Uh, I am making a larger than pot sized 3-bet, which, just given that we are still 100 big lines deep right now, um, I, I just don't want to make his implied odds too juicy to call me with anything. Uh, certainly my 3-bet size will be going down as stacks get uh, less deep. So you see here already, I'm, uh, I am raising any two on the button. Decide to put bottom pair on this ace high flop. I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but there are situations where my hand uh, is just, it's a little too weak to play as a bluff catcher. Like if I checked here and called the turn, it wouldn't be terrible, but my, it, the hand is vulnerable enough that I don't really want to give a free card, and um, I, I don't think it's great for bluff catching, so I decided to bet the flop with it, understanding that if I get called, yeah, in this spot, I can, I think I can get called by like King Jack, King Ten, a few hands that, that I am actually beating, so it's a little bit of a value bet. Um, I think I usually don't have the best hand when I'm called, but I think just the value of winning the pot right away on the flop is, is worth a decent amount. Um, I might have double barreled some cards, um, although probably not actually. I think the, the only purpose of that would be to try to get them off a of queen.